Hi, everyone. Uh, I'd like to generalize this over here to the general statement in number eight over here. So before, I talked about how uh, the reciprocal of x over y, x over y all raised to the negative one exponent, is y over x. That's called the reciprocal of the base, x over y, with y not being zero as a hidden restriction. Well, let's look at a, a more difficult example x over y all to the negative 2. Well, similarly, this can be rewritten as y over x all to the positive 2, where again, y not being 0 is a hidden restriction. You cannot divide by 0 to the left here. On the left side, you're not allowed to use y equals 0 on the right side either. Now remember, as you move from the left side to the right side, the goal is to get an equivalent expression, uh, such that as long as these represent real values, they are equal to each other. In particular, all cases where x and y are not equal to zero. Now, to get from the left side to the right side, what can you do? We don't like these negative exponents. We can take the opposite of that exponent, that is we flip the sign on the exponent, here from negative to positive. We can do that provided that we take the what of the base. If we take the reciprocal of the base, the reciprocal of x over y is y over x. So again, to get an equivalent expression, because we don't like these negative exponents, you can take the opposite of the exponent, that is flip the sign, so that the result here is positive. And uh, if you flip the sign on the exponent, you also need to take the reciprocal of the base. In general, x over y all to the opposite of n is equivalent to y over x all to the n. To flip the sign on the exponent to take opposites on the exponent, you also have to take the reciprocal of the base. So that's number eight in its full glory for laws of exponents. Now let's go to laws of radicals. Any questions?